Taking a look at the tail of the tape, virtually identical when it comes to age, height, and reach, as well as weight, with a very slight reach advantage going the way of Robert the Ghost Guerrero. What this fight comes down to for me, Joey, is punches in volume, and Robert the Ghost Guerrero is the king of throwing a lot of punches. He's also got a lot of experience fighting in high-profile fights, obviously. You know, main event here in Carson, California. It's a big deal. He's fought in 62 championship rounds, and he is ready to go tonight. He said he's fired up, very, very excited for this fight. Aaron Martinez, though, said, don't count me out. I'm coming to win, and he wants to make, he can make a huge statement if he's able to topple Guerrero tonight. Well, you see, there's a big difference in the experience between two fighters. Guerrero, of course, a 14-year pro to 10 years to Martinez. 38 fights to 23 fights. Uh, you know, first round of cut knockouts, Guerrero's got five of them. Martinez, only four knockouts on his record completely, so he's not really known as a power puncher. But the big thing that stands out to me is the inactivity of Aaron Martinez. His last fight was over a year ago, and it was to a great fighter in Josecito Lopez. Prior to that, his last fight was two years before that, back in 2012. Again, it was a loss to an upcoming prospect at the time, Jesse Vargas. So Guerrero's got a guy in front of him tonight who he should look spectacular for because he needs it in a big way. He's one and two in his last three fights. He lost to Thurman, another rising star. He, of course, was in a war against Kamagai, and then he was thoroughly dominated by Floyd, of course, the pound for pound best in the world, Floyd Mayweather. So tonight, he doesn't just need a win, he needs an impressive performance to put his name back up on the map. And I think he's got a perfect opponent in front of him here to do that. Yeah, Aaron Martinez said, look, I know that the layoffs speak volumes, but I have been training exceptionally hard for this. If Robert Guerrero comes in and underestimates me, he's making a huge mistake because I am here to win. But Guerrero, like we just heard a moment ago, said he is here to wreck Martinez. Ten rounds in the welterweight division. Martinez is wearing the black, the gold, and the green. Guerrero is wearing the red and the white. Here we go with round number one. See Guerrero in the southpaw stance, starting early, stalking his opponent. It's an interesting style matchup between these two fighters as Guerrero lands a beautiful right hook right over the left hand of Martinez. Big right hand from Martinez as he answers back. A couple shots to the body, then he loops overhand with a right and what's, connects. What's interesting about this exchange right here is Martinez stop, is stop. usually a fighter that likes to fight at distance. He likes to fight at range. He likes to surprise his opponent with quick combinations. That inside rough him up kind of nasty brawling style of fighter, that's usually the kind of style we see from Guerrero. Guerrero boxes his way in, he ties up, he stays active and aggressive in the tie up. And Guerrero once again pushing forward. As Martinez up against the ropes a little bit. But again, Martinez doing a nice job when they do tie up of landing the more significant punches, Joey. And not just more significant, it seems early on this first round, it seems he's more active in the tie up. And already that left eye of Guerrero dotted up a bit. It looks like there's a mouse forming beneath it. Just under a minute remaining here in the opening round of 10 potential in the welterweight division. Nice counter right hook by, by Guerrero right there. Yes, 
Coming down to our final 10 seconds of round number one. The Clappers are there. Guerrero going to try to do a little bit of work with Martinez. Putting his head down, pushing Guerrero up against the ropes. Negating any final flurry that Guerrero may throw his way. Round number two is set to go. Aaron Martinez once again is wearing the black, the green, and the gold. Guerrero is wearing the red and the white. Ten rounds on deck. This is, like I said, number two. Guerrero comes out firing around. Yeah, one thing to notice early in the round is, is not like the first round, early, right away, Guerrero was very active with that jab. He came out, fired a stiff jab, fired a jab to the body. Overhead right from Martinez connects a bit there. And that's gonna be a weapon for Martinez. Martinez staying busy. He's got Guerrero pushed up in the corner right now. Martinez doing a great job of pinning Guerrero against the ropes. They're exchanging evenly, and you see what, what Guerrero tried to do right there is he tried to hit a switch, switch his angle out, and turn his opponent, but Martinez adjusted brilliantly and stopped him from doing that. He actually just clipped Guerrero with a nice right uppercut right on the inside, and he's doing some very solid, solid work right now in the corner. Yeah, Martinez said he trained really hard for this fight. And I mean, pushing Guerrero up on, against the turnbuckle there and really turning his hips over with each shot, those are powerful, Joey. This could be doing some real damage to Guerrero. Well, what I love about it... Oh, oh Guerrero man, answered man. beautifully. But what I love about this right now is that Aaron Martinez is fighting Robert Guerrero's fight. He's cornering him, he's pressuring him, he's bullying him in the corner, he's staying aggressive, fighting fighting in the tie-up. That's usually what we see out of Robert Guerrero. Guerrero, nice job with the counter there, takes a shot, but then fires right back and connects with an uppercut. And again, Martinez backs Guerrero up against the ropes. And in an exchange like this, where one fighter backs another fighter to the ropes, when they're both active on the inside, judges have a tendency to lean more towards the fighter who backed the one fighter up to the ropes rather than the guy who's against the ropes. Even in the center of the ring, they're very tied up, they're very close, and both of them are throwing big uppercuts. Those are the shots that look to be connecting the most outside, of course, of the body shots. Round number two, a very active one, coming to an end here, Jordan. really puts things in perspective. Sure does. Round number three is underway. Martinez in the black, the gold, the green. Guerrero's in the white and the red. Ten potential rounds in this one, and Guerrero and Martinez so far on our unofficial scorecard have it tied up in one piece. And you can already see some of the effects of that overhand right under the left eye of Robert Guerrero. Oh, huge body shots from both fighters. Neither willing to give up that position of owning the inside of the body shot when they are mixed up and they're fighting close. And like you mentioned a moment ago, Martinez generally likes to fight at a distance. He's really turned the tables on Guerrero. I don't think that Guerrero expected this from Martinez. No, you know, Martinez likes to work from a distance. He moves laterally and he surprises opponents with quick combinations of straight lights inside and right hands to the outside. He's got good defense and it moves. He avoids punches with his movement. But of course, his biggest problem to date has been a lack of punching power. That overhand right, even in close quarters, finding a home for Martinez. Guerrero fires back, lands an uppercut of his own. This is a brawl between these two. Joey, Martinez doesn't look like he's been out of the ring for over a year, does he? No, that's, that's one thing that's very impressive because he's only had two fights in the last four years, both losses, but he doesn't look like that right here, right now, tonight. As you were saying that sentence, 
Martinez landed three uppercuts to Guerrero. One of them cranked his neck all the way around. He's landed some big shots. And Martinez doing a great job right there. The referee breaks the action, but he did a great job of turning Guerrero, putting Guerrero's back against the ropes. One thing that Guerrero had tried to do previously against Martinez, and Martinez prevented. <laughs> 45 seconds left here in round number three, and Martinez continues to push the action. Overhand right, connects again. Guerrero answers back with a hook. Another overhand right from Martinez. Your hands are free, let go. Final 10 seconds coming up here in this third round, and once again, it is a busy one between the Ghost and Martinez. Looks like round number three is going to come to a close with Guerrero putting his back up against the ropes. Good fight, gentlemen. Round number four is underway. Martinez wearing the black, the gold, the green. Guerrero's in the red and the white. And, Joy, one thing that we noticed there is that the father of Guerrero, in between rounds three and into round four, number, uh, round number four, there was a real sense of urgency in the advice that he was giving him. Rightfully so. I don't think they expected this version of Aaron Martinez. And Aaron Martinez said that before the fight. He said, if Guerrero comes in and he underestimates me, that is going to be an enormous mistake. And, and that's the key word, underestimate, because I don't think Guerrero overlooked him. I think he might have underestimated the version of Aaron Martinez he'd be facing tonight. Which is very easy to do. I mean, you've got a guy that's only fought a couple of times in the past couple of years, and they've been losses. And then all of a sudden, he takes over a year off, and he comes in, and he's performing like this. It's unbelievable. Three-year layoff, two years and three fights, both losses. You don't expect to see a fight like this. The referee breaks the action again, and in that particular instance, it's not the first time I've seen this fight. Guerrero had his back up against the ropes. Martinez, the one pushing the action. Now Guerrero, he's got Martinez corner, but Martinez again spins out and pushes Guerrero up against the ropes. More body shots continue to land. Very close fight. Martinez not backing down. Neither is Guerrero. Nice uppercut there from Guerrero. Followed by another. Martinez now pushing Guerrero up against the turnbuckle. One thing to consider is the wear and tear, the damage that Guerrero has sustained in his last five fights. Four of those were complete wars. He was in a war with Berto. He was in a war with Thurman. He was in a war with Kamigay. The only non-war was a domination by Floyd Mayweather. So that takes its toll on its body. So we might be seeing a more broken down version of Robert Guerrero tonight and the best version of Aaron Martinez. Well, we certainly don't. Aaron Martinez is not giving Guerrero an easy fight by any stretch of the imagination. The referee, whenever they tie up for too long, will separate them. And then the second he lets them re-engage, Martinez is back on Guerrero. And again, he's got it pushed up against the ropes in this instance. And he's continuing to land those big body shots. A very, very busy Aaron Martinez here in round number four. of round number four. Referee's asking him if he's okay. That is the end of the round, and wow, Joey. Robert Guerrero tasting the mat before the conclusion of the fourth round, and the crowd goes bonkers here in Carson, California for the kid from East LA. Four rounds in the books. Here we go with number five, and Guerrero comes out firing hard on his own accord. Great fight, Martinez connects again. Guerrero's head snaps back, he stumbled again. Can he find his legs? Guerrero's firing back, Martinez continues.
continuing to press the action once again with Guerrero in that same corner where he dropped him just moments ago. Referee is warning Martinez, keep your gloves up. Martinez once again backing Guerrero up. He's got him in the corner. Little over two minutes left here in this fifth round, and Martinez is staying busy, Joey. Some punches, one of those stun Martinez. This is a very closely contested round. Both fighters throwing with bad intention. Less than a minute and a half remaining here in this fifth round. Martinez pressing forward again. Those punches not finding a home. Martinez just biting down on his mouthpiece, pressing the action, slipping and rolling, coming up firing with shots to the body and head. Aaron Martinez is bringing it to Robert Guerrero tonight. Round number five of a potential 10 has just 60 seconds left in it, but so far, these first two minutes have been brutal in round number five. Guerrero not willing to give up after getting knocked out at the end of round number four. Final seconds. Martinez looks like he's enjoying it as he smiles as they fire at each other. That's the end of round number five. Guerrero, red and white. Martinez, black, gold, and green. Round number six is underway of a potential 10 in this welterweight matchup. Six. We don't see this. We're not seeing the same pressure from Martinez that you know, we have in the first five rounds. I was just going to say that is, is this is where the effects of a, of a two-year layoff come into play. He was so active early, six round deep. Some of that energy, some of that gas tank has been zapped. So I think we're going to see, you know, some of the effects of that layoff right now and his punch output in the later rounds. Yeah, previously we had mentioned that as soon as the referee breaks here, Martinez was right back on Guerrero, but now a little bit of pause. He's, he's letting that distance be created, which I imagine is what Guerrero expected from Martinez throughout this entire fight. But really the recipe for success for Martinez has been to close that distance and surprise Guerrero by getting inside. He went from five rounds of being a pressure fighter to early in this fight, he looks like a footwork fighter. He's moving, he's circling, and he's not pressing the action. It's Robert Guerrero that's pressing the action and bringing the fight to Aaron Martinez. Yeah, and, and, and Guerrero is now getting to pick his shots a little bit more. The pace has slowed down a little bit, and Guerrero is the one that's throwing punches. Martinez basically just playing defense at this point, not seeing a lot of offense from him early in round number six. <laughs> Martinez has a look on his face that says, I'm in a war and I love it. Another bad sign for Martinez is the fact that his mouth is wide open. He's breathing from his mouth. 
That's one of the first signs that a fighter is fatigued. And it makes you a lot more susceptible to that knockout. You got that Absolutely. Side, yeah. Mouth open, immediately susceptible to eating that left hook or, or straight right to the chin or, or to the base of the jaw, breaking the jaw and knocking you unconscious. Final 10 seconds of round number six, and this has been a good one for Guerrero. Martinez considerably slowing down. And Guerrero picking his shots. Let's go. Wait up, guys. Let's go. Keep it clean, guys. Here we go. Round number seven is underway. Guerrero, red and white. Martinez, the black, the gold, and the green. Martinez slowed down considerably there in round number six. Will he turn up the heat as we continue on in round number seven? Guerrero's corner telling him, I do not want you in the corner. If you do end up in the corner, I want you fighting hard. Joey, how do you have this one scored so far? You know, Dave, I gave the last two rounds to Robert Guerrero, so it would be three rounds apiece, three to three, but we gotta remember the knockdown, giving the edge to Martinez. I have it Martinez, 57 to 56. Very close fight here in round number seven. If the output continues from Guerrero there, do you think that this is starting to turn as far as the momentum goes in this fight? Absolutely, I think this is where the layoff is gonna take a major effect on the performance of Martinez, and I think this is where the experience of Guerrero is going to take over as well. We're going to see one fade, one fighter fading due to lack of activity and experience, and the other one stepping it up. Guerrero's corner told them that they wanted to be busy if they are going to be in close quarters, which we are seeing now. Guerrero doing a nice job of spinning out of these moments of combat where they're clinched up, using his footwork to escape and landing some nice shots on the break. You see how busy he is? He's starting to turn it on now, Joey. What, what, what Guerrero's doing a great job right now is he's creating distance with his footwork. So as Martinez presses the pace, he takes a half step back, he hits an angle just like that, fires a combination. Take a half step back, switch another angle, fire a combination. So he's using Martinez's pressure against him to capitalize on his punches. The timing of Guerrero appears to be very solid here in round number seven as well. As Martinez is starting to progress towards him, he instantly lights him up with a combination, times him as he's coming in. I think Guerrero came out a little cold in this fight, and Martinez came out on fire. And now I think Guerrero's gotten into his rhythm, gotten into his groove, and now he's putting in the work we expected to see out of Robert Guerrero. But Martinez now has got Guerrero once again up against the ropes, and he's starting to turn his hips over, starting to throw volume punches. And the corner of Guerrero reminding him what he told them between the rounds, that you need to stay busy if you're going to be in close quarters with Martinez, because that's how he's been winning the fight. Final 10 seconds of round number seven. Martinez, but one that is clearly in the books for Robert Guerrero. We are getting deep into this fight. Round number eight, set to go. Robert the Ghost Guerrero, red and white. Aaron Martinez, black, gold, and green. And you heard the corner of Guerrero reminding him that he has to finish each round strong as well. Martinez was able to turn it on there a bit at the end of round number seven. But Guerrero definitely had a nice showing in that round. Let's see if that continues here in round number eight. Yeah, Martinez definitely turned it up, pressed Guerrero back to the ropes, but I thought Guerrero did enough action throughout the early and middle parts of the rounds to, to still steal that round. And this is where I want to see Guerrero step it up. When he's got his corner a half, when he's got his, his opponent a half step away from the ropes, pressure him back to the ropes, keep him there, and do some nice work on the inside. Use that strategy against him that he's been successfully employing against you. Right here, hop on him, pin him in that corner. Stop, stop. Hey, 
And you see again Martinez breathing with his mouth wide open. Never a good sign as he's backed up in the corner with Guerrero stalking. Yeah, and we talked about it, you know, the last couple of rounds now. Martinez, his output has just dramatically slowed down. And as you pointed out, had that could have a lot to do with the fact that it's been over a year since he stepped into the ring for a fight. He's had a lot of layoff time in his career. And he started out doing great. He was just closing the distance and was all up in Guerrero's grill. Now he seems to be playing defense and Guerrero picking his shots. Nice. Hook to the head, hook to the body. Referee's warning, Robert Guerrero, no punches to the back of the head. One thing, though, to notice with that warning, the referee just didn't warn him. The referee said, one more time, I'm going to take a point. And I don't know a fight if I, like this, it could be really significant. I don't know if I agree with him. I don't think the foul was flagrant enough and has happened uh, frequently enough to warrant it, uh, one more offense being a point taken away. Round number eight is in the books. Robert Guerrero once again in command in that round. Let's go. Fight, guys. Ninth round is underway. Joey, how do you have this so far? You know what? I thought in the last three rounds, Robert Guerrero has done a phenomenal job of taking control of this fight. I have it five rounds to three for Guerrero, but only 76 to 75 because we got to remember the knockdown. So these last two rounds of utmost importance for both fighters. Robert Guerrero, these last few rounds, has been able to turn it on. Aaron Martinez, if he wants to once again find his rhythm, he's got to turn it on. He's got to be able to get in the face of Robert Guerrero, close the distance, and do exactly that. Make this a dirty fight. Stop fighting on the outside because Guerrero is getting the best of those exchanges. One thing we're seeing a glimpse of right now that we saw previously in the, in, in the last round was as Martinez pressed forward, Guerrero's doing a great job of that. Half step back, take an angle, and pick a shot. That's his recipe for success. If Martinez is going to continue pressing as he comes forward, you just create a little more space, take an angle, and you've got two or three shots that are going to be open to you. He warns him that was low, but that was belt line. And you see where the belt of Robert, Mar uh, of Robert Guerrero is? It's covering his belly button. So that means that belt line should be fair game. Sometimes referee have a tendency to get worn happy. Guerrero doing a nice job of circling out of danger when Martinez does press forward, but again, the pressure of Martinez considerably slower in this round than it was in the earlier rounds. And Guerrero times that nicely, lands a little uppercut as Martinez was coming in. And you see there Martinez again, mouth just wide open, sucking in air. This is where I think Guerrero needs to step up his output, push the pace, and really break Aaron Martinez. Let that year long layoff, do the rest of the work for him, but just press that action, break him down. Nice, and there he is, you see, half step back, take an angle, fire. You know, interestingly, when, when Martinez is walking towards us, just a moment ago, I saw him kind of like stretch his jaw out. I'm curious if maybe there's an injury somewhere in there that's causing him to keep his jaw wide open. I mean, maybe he's just trying to get more oxygen into his system, but it's also possible, I think, that there could be something wrong with his jaw at this point. That's a good point, because he doesn't look like he's sucking wind. Right. 
Round number nine is in the books. We are headed to our 10th and final round. Hey, great fight, guys. Let's go. 10th and final round. Here we go. Robert Guerrero having success in the later rounds. Joey, how do you have it on your scorecard? 86 84. Robert Guerrero taking control of this fight, showing his experience. Let's go. Not just showing his experience, but making adjustments, adapting. We're better than guys, come on. That was a low, a low shot. Yep. We were talking earlier about how perhaps the uh, the shot that Martinez threw and, and look at the look at Martinez. He took a, 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 a powerful low blow. I mean, it was it was on that spot, and he just steps up right away and says, "No, let's go, let's go." We apologize. It's unintentional. They are back at it. Again, tenth and final round. This has been a great fight. The later part of this fight has been owned by Guerrero. Martinez on the other end. A lot of success early. But Guerrero looking to finish with a big impact here. He's got Martinez up against the ropes. But Martinez said, come on, man. Let's go. Let's brawl. Love the heart of Martinez. Yeah, there's, there's, you cannot question his heart. He's put that on display tonight. Let go of Martinez. Let go. Come on, that's right, man. Got him in the corner. Throws a big left hand that partially connects. Referee once again separates them. Less than a minute remaining here in the 10th and final round. Martinez has got to do something big here in these last 50 seconds if he wants to potentially walk away with a victory. Once again, with an exhausted looking Martinez pushed up into the corner. Final 15 seconds on the clock, and Guerrero again in command. Take a step back, both of you. Come on, Martinez, let go. 10 seconds. Martinez in the final 10 seconds said, come on, man, let's put on a show. Guerrero said, you got it, buddy. Here's the official decision. Event, we'll go to your judges' scorecards. Your first judge at ringside, Max DeLuca, scores the fight 95 to 94, seeing the fight for Martinez. Your second judge, Eddie Hernandez, scores the fight 95 to 94, seeing the fight for Guerrero. Your third and final judge at ringside, Jerry Cantu, scores the fight 97 to 92 for the winner by split decision. Rapper! We knew that it was going to be a close one on the judges' scorecard.